I'm Jake Offenharts. I'm a reporter with the Associated Press in New York. George Santos was hit with a new federal indictment detailing an additional 10 felony counts against him, including a particularly brazen scheme to steal the identities of his donors and ring up tens of thousands of dollars in unauthorized charges without their knowledge. Prosecutors said he did this in an apparent effort to inflate his campaign coffers and personally enrich himself. In one instance, he's alleged to have charged $12,000 from a contributor's card before transferring the vast majority of that money to his own personal bank account. He then attributed the unauthorized donations to his family members who did not give money to his campaign and didn't know they were part of the scheme, according to prosecutors. And with everything going on with your investigation right now, how are you feeling? I feel confident that I get to fight it and I have my day in court. So clearly this adds to the serious legal peril that Santos was already facing. He told reporters that he's still planning to fight the charges. And he once again tried to blame his former treasurer, Nancy Marks. That same treasurer, who's a longtime operative on Long Island, pleaded guilty recently to her own set of financial crimes, some of which were laid out in more detail in this latest indictment against Santos. Basically, she says that she and Santos hatched this scheme to embellish his campaign finance reports with fake loans and fake donors, effectively tricking the Republican Party into throwing their support behind him by making him look richer than he really was. All of this has added pressure to Republicans, who so far have declined to expel Santos. But since the indictment, we've seen half a dozen GOP Republicans introduce a resolution to expel Santos from Congress. And that resolution was sponsored by many of his fellow New Yorkers who had harsh words for Santos. He has no business being in the halls of the House of Representatives. He's an immoral person. He's an untrustworthy person. He scammed hundreds of thousands of voters. In terms of how long it's going to take before that vote takes place, we don't know at this point. Uh, it would require a two-thirds vote in the House, and it wouldn't be introduced until Republicans elect a new speaker. So it's something that we'll be keeping an eye on going forward.